Hello, I'm Mark Wishner, the founder of the Sun Safety Program, a nonprofit organization that teaches sun protection education and skin cancer prevention programs specifically to the golf community. I started Sun Safety based upon my own experience with skin cancer, along with my love of the game of golf. Here's some statistics you may not be aware of. This year in the United States alone, more than two million skin cancers will be diagnosed. During their lifetime, one in five Americans will develop skin cancer, and every year, more skin cancers are diagnosed than lung cancer, prostate cancer, and breast cancer combined. Because golfers spend a significant amount of time out on the golf course, we have a greater risk of developing skin cancer as well as just sun damage, premature aging of the skin. But here's the good news. Skin cancer is preventable and education is the key. Through our partnership with the Golf Coaches Association of America, we bring you these sun safety tips. Along with some PGA Tour professionals, they're gonna deliver a message of sun protection. I know if you had the opportunity to talk to a tour professional about your golf game or being out on the PGA Tour, you'd pay close attention to what they have to say. Please pay close attention as they talk to you about sun protection and help to deliver a message of cover up before you tee it up. Hello, my name is Scott McCarran, professional golfer. But before I got on the PGA Tour, I was first a junior golfer and a collegiate player at UCLA, home of the Bruins. As a golfer, I spend most of the year outdoors in the sun. I'm here to talk to you on behalf of the Sun Safety Program and to remind you the importance of skin protection from damage from the sun. Like many of you growing up, I did not always apply sunscreen. But did you know that skin cancer is the leading cancer in young adults aged 25 to 29? And that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer at some point during their lifetime. So there's a high probability that two players in your college golf team will develop skin cancer. And the more you're in the sun, the more the risk. Today I make my living playing golf, and part of my pre-round routine is to always apply sunscreen. But because we're out there for so long, I also make it a habit to reapply. I want to play this game for as long as I can, so staying physically fit is something I'm serious about. Make protecting your skin something you are serious about. Cover it up before you tee it up. And go Bruins. Sunscreen is an important part of your sun protection strategy. Here are five things you need to know about sunscreen. Know your ABCs. In order to understand sun protection and sunscreen, you have to understand that the sun produces three types of ultraviolet rays. UVA, UVB, and UVC. Currently, only UVA and UVB reach the Earth's surface. So when we're talking about being protected from the sun, we're right now we're talking about UVA and UVB rays. Know what protection you're buying. SPF, or sun protection factor, is a way to measure how much protection a sunscreen provides versus your body's natural sun protection. SPF is a complicated measuring system that ranges from 2 to 100. The important thing to know is that an SPF of 15 blocks about 93% of UVB rays. An SPF of 30 blocks about 97% of UVB rays. So really, anything more than an SPF of 30 is going to provide little additional protection. Be sure to use a sunscreen that has UVA and UVB protection. SPF only refers to protection from UVB rays, so look for a sunscreen that says UVA, UVB protection, or broad spectrum coverage. Know when to apply sunscreen. Sunscreens need 20 to 30 minutes to be absorbed into your skin, so you need to apply before you go out in the sun. Most sunscreens only last for two hours and then need to be reapplied, so at Sun Safety we say, don't burn, Reapply at the turn. Know that clouds do not protect you. UVA and UVB rays are not visible to the naked eye. So just because it's a cloudy day and the visible sunlight is blocked does not mean that UV rays are blocked by the clouds. In fact, up to 80% of UV rays can reach you on a cloudy day and you can get sunburnt. Know that sunscreen and sunblock are not the same. Sunblocks do not have chemicals in them and use minerals such as titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which when applied to the skin form a physical barrier. 
This barrier then reflects the UV rays. Some blocks tend to go on opaque or white in color and are thick to apply. Sunscreens are chemicals that are absorbed into the skin and which then absorb the UV rays. Because of their chemical composition, sunscreens tend to go on more elegantly or easier. However, some people are concerned about the use of chemicals on their body. Choosing the right sunscreen for you is a personal matter. It really depends upon the activity you're doing, the coverage you're looking for, and your skin sensitivity. But regardless of which sunscreen or sunblock you choose, use it early and use it often. Hi guys, I'm Chris Stroud, PGA Tour player. I played at Lamar University back in 2000-2004. Uh, I'm here today to talk about your sun safe tee. Uh, it's a big deal guys, you're out here in the sun every day. Make sure you cover up. Wear a hat, wear sunscreen, stay away from that skin damage and skin cancer. Really, really important every day. Make sure you cover up before you tee it up. Unfortunately, many golfers are hesitant to use sunscreen because they're concerned about it getting on their hands and affecting their grip and their ability to hold on to the club. In this video, we're going to explore a golf-friendly way to apply sunscreen. When applying sunscreen in a golf-friendly way, you're going to primarily use your glove hand. First, take off your glove and with that glove hand, apply a generous amount of sunscreen or sunblock to your face, neck, and arms and any exposed areas. At this point in time, the only area that is not covered is the forearm of your gloved hand. Squeeze an ample amount of sunscreen on that forearm, and with the back of your non-gloved hand, spread the sunscreen around, making sure to get good coverage. Now every area is covered, and with a moist, not dry, towel, wipe your gloved hand clean and put your glove back on. You've now covered your whole body and not risk getting sunscreen on your grips. When using sunscreen, it's important to remember it takes 20 or 30 minutes for sunscreen to set up on your skin and become effective. So you really should be applying it before you leave home. When you apply your sunscreen before you leave home, there's plenty of time to wash your hands and make them nice and clean so that you can grip your club comfortably when you get to the golf course. But if you don't apply your sunscreen before the course or when you do reapply, because remember sunscreen only lasts for two hours and we say at the sun safety program, don't burn, reapply at the turn. Use this golf friendly technique to apply your sunscreen. Hello, I am Hunter Mahan for Sun Safe Tea Program. Using the proper sun protection out on the golf course is just as important as having the right golf equipment in your bag. Proper sun protection is more than just sunscreen, it includes wearing a hat shirt, and pants to protect you from the sun, and of course, sunglasses. So remember, cover up before you tee it up, and go Oak State. When most people think of sun protection, they think of sunscreen, but actually clothing is your best protection. Using clothing creates a non-chemical physical barrier to the sun and the nice thing is those areas that are covered don't have to worry about applying sunscreen or reapplying sunscreen. When looking for a sun protective garment, it's important to look for one that has a UPF or ultraviolet protection factor rating. Just like sunscreen has an SPF factor to tell you how well it will protect you against the sun, UPF will show you how well that garment will protect you against the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Here are some ways to use clothing to protect yourself out on the golf course. With a hat. Did you know that many skin cancers are detected on the ears, lips, and nose? These are very thin skin areas and are susceptible to sun damage and skin cancer. Unfortunately, the most popular golf caps don't protect those areas. Golfers should wear a hat with a wide brim to protect those areas. A three inch brim is ideal. Sunglasses. Choose sunglasses that block 99 to 100% of both UVA and UVB rays. Skip sunglasses that are labeled cosmetic and those that don't offer details on their UV protection. Opt for larger lenses rather than smaller ones, or better yet, 
the wraparound variety. Shirt. The average t-shirt has an equivalent SPF of approximately 7 or 8. That's not much protection or coverage. With the development of new technical textiles, you can find golf shirts that have a UPF of 30 or higher. If you do not have a garment that has a UPF rating, then the best sun protection comes from dark fabrics with a tight weave. Sun sleeves. A recently developed product is called sun sleeves. These are great garments that you can wear with any shirt and do a wonderful job of protecting you in the sun. They also eliminate the need for you to apply or reapply sunscreen to your arms. Hello, I'm Johnson Wagner. I played my college golf at Virginia Tech and I'm here for the Sun Safe Tee Program. The most important thing you bring to the golf course is not your golf clubs, it's your sun protection. Be sure to cover up before you tee it up. And that means wear at least SPF 30 and reapply every two hours. Go to www.sunsafetee.org for more details. Hello, I'm Charles Moore from Clemson University. Enjoy golf and your college careers, but before you tee it up, cover it up. The skin you save will be your own. For more information, go to www.sunsafety.org.